And now we have this, stopping the use of certain harmful chemicals. That's the goal of a bill receiving a lot of support in Augusta and across Maine. Our Alex Haskell joins us this morning to tell us what all the buzz is about. Right, Alex? That's right, Sharon. Good morning. <laughs> this legislation aims to protect some important workers in the state. Lawmakers say banning these chemicals could create a safe pollinating work environment. It is focused only on outdoor residential landscapes. State Representative Nicole Grahowski wrote LD-155 Amendment B, as it's called. It protects Maine workers from deadly pesticides. But not these workers, these busy buzzing workers. My bill protects bees and other pollinators by reducing the amount of use of neonicotinoids. If passed, the law would ban four of the most harmful neonicotinoids, neonics for short, from lawns, turf, and ornamental vegetation. Agricultural producers and forestry will not be affected by this legislation. So what exactly are neonics and what do they do to bees? Some bees are affected so that they have difficulty flying, they, it interrupts their cognitive abilities, they can't navigate and find their way back to the nest. Dr. Francis Drummond says neonics can even kill bees. They end up contaminating nectar and pollen of plants. A worrisome reality as bees are on the decline locally and nationally. A state survey reports Maine beekeepers lost more than 35% of hives between April 2019 and April 2020. We're trying to limit the use of these harmful pesticides in order to support our bee pollination, which of course is critical. She hopes Maine will join other states already restricting or considering legislation to ban the sale of neonics to folks just working in their yard. The support we've seen so far is very strong and very young. I'm Elizabeth Downs and I'm a nine year old beekeeper. I'm, I support LD155. But don't let age fool you. This beekeeper turned bee advocate knows her stuff. They're pollinating and if they don't pollinate, then um, the plants die and if the plants die, we die. Elizabeth also makes the effect Neonix has on bees relatable to us humans. Imagine yourself going out to get food for your family and then you can't move and you're paralyzed. Like, I wouldn't like that. And I am right there with you, Elizabeth. I wouldn't like that either. Now, critics of this bill say changes to its language and clarifications still need to be worked out. Live in the control room this morning, Alex Haskell, New Center, Maine.